Hey guys, what's going on? This is Till Carlos, and over there, that's Finn from Practical hello, hello. Principles. We're both German, but we're gonna speak some English now with some German accent probably, and we're gonna build a landing page for Shiny. At least that's exactly. the plan for the next hour. Exactly. Build a landing page in an hour, complete with copy and everything. Cool, cool. So, what do you think? How do we get started? Um, so I did a bit of preparation work, just not to look too stupid in this live stream, which I actually don't know if we're going to have people here in the stream, but we're definitely going to record this. So I did, the preparation I did was just to set up, let me share my entire screen. Um, actually, yes, let me share my screen real quick and then you see what this, how this is looking here. So I have a Firefox with uh, rare blocks, which doesn't load right now, um, I have to see. And then there was a Nux.js installation. A Nux is like okay. a... It's a static site generator, basically, built on uh, Vue.js. So the cool thing here is that um, you can basically, once you load the page, everything is loaded at once. So uh, it's very it's very fast to navigate that page. And there is a blog inside, but we don't need this. We just need the main page, and we're going to put something here. Because our goal is to make a landing page, right? Exactly, exactly. Yep. So and I those think are rare what blocks. makes yeah mm -hmm. yes yeah so and, and I think what makes sense is to build something um, you know just to clarify the value prop and um, show people what is what is shiny all about um, what do you actually get inside and obviously I think mm -hmm. we're we're not super involved in the product side of things so I think um, listing out the specific ways you could join shiny um, is you know might be a little bit beyond our pay grade we'll do our best but um yeah so i think uh, i'm excited to to start and let's go cool so we have this one challenge i think that i'm on the coding side and i have the rare blocks here which we're going to use uh, and you're on the copywriting side yes so at one point we need to merge what we do so we could I don't know, how do you normally assemble copy? I'm not a copywriter, but I've heard that people put a lot of time into this and thoughts. So what do you think would be a workflow for us? Yes, I think, I mean, most importantly is like the, um, that we build um, or, you know, do we get a good V1, right? Like to not let perfect be the enemy of good, obviously, if we have just an hour. Um, but I think the cool thing, um, the cool thing that we have the opportunity to do is um, to ship things quickly and kind of to agree on things quickly. So I think I think the best way is mm -hmm. to figure out what are the things, what are the elements that we need in order to um, to build this thing, right? Because mm -hmm. if I write copy and then and then there's no no graphical slash code element to um, include that copy, then that's going to be uh, useless. As and similarly, if there's an element that I don't write copy for, right? So I think agreeing on the basic general structure of the page um, yeah. would be would be the best way to start. What do you think? I like this. Um, so what we could do, we could go to browse through the blocks and then copy some of them, and then we have to then go go ahead and to and fill, like change the copy of those. Right. Okay. Um, I'm trying to log in with my MetaMask. Um, wallet right now, okay. which doesn't work for some reason. But I had it before, so I maybe need to reload the page or something. So this might take a second. So how about you share your screen? I mean, do we have anything on Shiny that we can actually share? Is there stuff on outside there? Um, <laughs> I mean, could, there uh, is. Rely on? Yeah, I mean, the only thing that I can that I can see right now is obviously you know there's the existing page, um, there's the design guidelines, and um, I mean, that's pretty much it, right? Um, what can we share? I um, I don't know. What can we share? I mean, I think, so from a messaging standpoint, what I think is very important is to get clear on the on the structure of the messaging as we get clear on the structure of the site, right? So mm -hmm. um, figure out, like, you know, what, what are the things that we need to include? Mm -hmm. And this is where I've done some homework. So I think what we need to include is First of all, like, what do you get out of this? Because I think one of the biggest um, mm -hmm. biggest obstacles to somebody joining a place like Shiny is, well, how do we um, how do we let's say um, how do we convey the value prop of something that's not a product, right? Like, it's not like yeah. you 
it, it's not like you buy something and you get something like you do when you, let's say, when you order something or even buy an online course, right? It's just like you get to participate, you get to, um, you're a token holder, you're this and that, and figuring out like what's the core value problem. Mm -hmm. What problem does it solve? I think we need to make that very clear because yep. a lot of the time people think like, okay, we're just going to tell people what's awesome about our product, but it's like, why, what brings you to Shiny? Like, what makes this relevant for you? What problem do you have that you want a community like Shiny to solve, right? So I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. And then kind of figure out, right. okay, give at least a few ways of like how you can join. I know that right now they're they're moving a lot of stuff around with the Feathers Mint that started yesterday. Um, but I think that there's quite a few different um, different ways that uh, that you can join right by purchasing as a Mac, purchasing a magpie mm -hmm. by um by purchasing the tokens um and all that kind of stuff so i think there's quite a few things that um would need some figuring out um and making clear showing people like how to move forward on mm -hmm. joining shiny and um yeah for the rest i think just maybe what makes shiny unique right like the what are the types of people mm -hmm. who are in shiny who is this for and who isn't this for i think those two are important as well yeah Sh shall we make a sketch those down just to have a like a quick structure yes. i s i shared with you uh, a google drive a google docs in link in discord um no but i'm gonna send you the link in discord right now okay perfect okay and maybe you can share your screen and then we write Tom down some of those yes I will I will um, and also this thing doesn't load for me it's weird it loaded before okay so let's just I screen do like those rare blocks I'm really <laughs> really happy with them uh, okay. but I so don't know why they, why they don't let me in right now ah, no worries I'm sure we'll figure, figure something out, out. <laughs> yeah exactly exactly that's the beauty of like doing something <laughs> crazy like this in an hour uh, we have to figure everything out. Cool. So shiny object social social club mm -hmm. club landing page structure. And so um, it's like, are you in the doc as well? Or am I in the wrong doc? You in the it's it has a different name for me. How did you wait? Uh, Maybe there, you there, there should. Yeah, better put it there. I mean, this is the one I have. I sent you, but yeah, if... yeah. Now we're in the same. Yeah, cool, perfect. perfect. Cool. Shiny object social club landing page structure, right? So, think value prop. How is my life better? Right. I think that's that's important. Mm -hmm. Um. After purchasing. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Like what is. What's kind of the difference between you not being a shiny member and then you being a shiny member, right? Like, how is your life different? How do you feel different? Um, why does this matter to anybody, right? Because it's, I think there's, people are discord fatigued, right? We need to make clear that shiny isn't some random discord where people talk about everything and nothing, right? Mm -hmm. So value prop my life, right? what problem does this solve and there's a great um great sort of um book called building a story brand by donald miller have you heard of it yeah yeah it's one of actually i downloaded it in order to read it soon oh what, nice. what's like the the summary of the book like it's quickest just it's essentially like simplify your message to like seven core um things and that's kind of my guiding principle behind lots of my thinking around marketing and mm -hmm. um cool around problems, he essentially says there are three aspects to a problem. And the first is the external, like how does it show up in your life, right? So an example of an external problem, like unrelated to shiny could be like, hey, I'm not making enough money, right? Um, how does this problem show up in life? Um, and then we have internal. No, how... I get it. It's opening, finally. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How does this problem make them feel, right? So if you're not making enough money, right? Like the emotional component to that might be like mm -hmm. the the person feeling 
you know, insecure or worried if they can take a vacation next year or something like that, right? Um, and speaking to speaking to the feelings of people obviously is usually more persuasive than like throwing stats at them. Mm. And then um, you have a philosophical angle, which is like things should be things shouldn't be this way, right? I deserve something better, right? For all your hard work, you deserve to treat yourself or something like that, right? Where it's like, mm -hmm. it's not only about the person's feelings, it's also about um, kind of a moral aspect, right? So um, mm -hmm. how, how should things be? Yeah, and then I just think, um, what else? Uh, ways to join kind of a practical, um, steps people can take to join shiny um and who should join slash who shouldn't join and um yeah what, what else do you think we need what is actually uh, like a tangible thing you can do there right you know so kinda... like features <laughs> right yeah it's so interesting to think about like a community with with features, right? It's like, because it's not like marketing a software product, but it's also not like marketing an online course. Mm -hmm. It's like something in between, <laughs> I feel like. Right. And there are benefits. Where do you think the features and benefits piece should go like structure wise? I think for the structure, we can now we can look at the blocks and just see which ones we want to take. Right, okay. And then that could be, yeah. I think that would be. Oh, I have I have some uh, some ideas how we can actually do this. Yeah, because I think that um, having the the features stuff after the problems is like you know we we solve these problems and here's how we solve them right. So give people proof after promising them something. I think that's a yeah that's a way to go. And then when they're excited, we tell them how to join. And then it's like right. okay, well if you're if you're not sure, here's how you can qualify yourself or disqualify yourself so that you're making a decision that, you know, that's best for you. I think that's a, that's a reasonable thing. What are we missing? Okay. Um, ways to join who should join and then some kind of call to action. If you don't have that yet. Or yeah, yeah, I mean, thing? some maybe just like a detailed CTA. Um, yeah, and also we need yeah, detail CTA, and then we also need social proof. I think. Do we have that? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. So maybe like after this, like have some uh, member testimonials, right? Like just have that as a subsection of it, where it's like, hey, here's the type of people who've already joined Shiny, and like we're looking for these builders who are creative, who want to contribute, and who want to, you know, be active in the community and um, and participate in the upside and. Um, and contribute something. And here's something that those people have to say about shiny, right? Like just to show people okay. that we already have them in there. Yep, I like it. This is a good structure. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. So um, if you want, we can start now with the blocks and then put Yes, them that sounds sounds good. Should I... So you Should can I... stop sharing and I'm going to say yeah. and my Firefox. Perfect. Let me see, Firefox. By the way, we have, I, I tried to make this a bit smaller like this because then we have our pictures next to it. Mm -hmm. Things gonna look really nice. Okay, so the idea here is just to give you a, let's say value prop. I would now, I mean, we can have this as a as an overview, right? Do you see? Now I'm going page structure. So I will move those like this and then so now what let's see value prop how is my life better um I would say let's look at those things and see which one would would be really good for uh for the first section the value prop so right. we can see if there are any all categories. I think this is called hero. Do we want to have hero? Eleven types of hero. Okay. One of those, or this one even. This is the huge screenshot. 
something like this could also work. Mm, maybe this one. How about this one? Yeah, I like that because I think the okay. the huge screenshot one wasn't wasn't very great. Um, yeah. Because there's, I think the visual element of a Discord isn't very uh, inspiring, or doesn't tell you much about the process mm. uh, product. So, so, so it I would think look this. Like is this. Better. Oh, nice. There's no there's no deep link. So what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna copy code yet. I just want to get the structure right. And the way but this works. Is you can you can yeah. adapt all the elements right like the fonts and the colors and yeah we're gonna do this later um, okay, okay, for okay. now because what we're gonna do first make a structure roughly like this in screenshots and then I'm gonna put them into code and then this will all be here in this in this page uh, okay 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 perfect. so how is my life better let's take this because you need to see this anyway in a bit so what problem mm. does it help what are we gonna do here. We need something. What external internal physical? So is that something where we have three boxes next to each yeah, other? Yeah, I think something like that would work. Okay. So let's see. Maybe it's features. Maybe there's something with three boxes. Maybe this one here. Would I mean this is very simple, right? Would this help? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think like a li yeah. Th I think this is perfect. Just like a little bit of a website, a uh, little bit of a headline. I could see something like, whatever. Um, I could see something like you know, like finding your way in Web three is hard. Uh, we may and that, and then having the three aspects of the problem that we solve. I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Maybe there's something better. Just I'm just want to check. Yeah, sure. We could also. What we could technically also do is do three of those boxes after another. So this one, this one, that one. That could also work, but then we need pictures. But we could do this. We could say a picture here. We find something on Unsplash, and then it's a headline with a description, and that's the first. If you want to have three elements, right? Then this would be th the second element with a picture on the other side, and the third element this. This would be an alternative. Or we do those three things. What do you think? I like the abstract one better simply because um, mm -hmm. because of the shiny shiny kind of identity, right? It's much more. Um, what do you Got call it. it? Abstract and, and mysterious, mm -hmm. right? Perfect. So let's leave this here. And then let's, okay, let's go to the next one. Tangible features and their benefits. Um, we actually should write down what those features are. But if we look at features again here, we could, we could do this one. We could uh, make a screenshot of the Discord and then put three of those features in there. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good point. Is that good? Okay. And we can see if we want to have this headline. So, okay, I'm going to do this. Ways to join. This would be a bit, let me see. We have so many here. Uh, it's probably, oh, maybe, do we need the team in there actually? Aussie and so on? Is that good or not? Yeah, I mean, I think like mm -hmm. having some core team members, I, I don't know all the team members and I think part of that is, maybe we can put that in like the testimonial section. Oh, we do this in here? Okay, sorry about that. My my uh, headphones just told me that the battery is low, so I didn't hear you. But <laughs> so we can put that in like. How, how long are they lasting now? From now. Oh, on? it'll it'll last like another two three hours, so it's that's fine. <laughs> that's um, perfect. Uh, if we want the team, we could put this one in here, but it's not necessary. Um. Yes. Can also skip it. Yeah, I mean, um, no, I, th I think team is great. I just think like in the sense that we want to convey the vibe of Shiny, what would be cool is like putting that in the member testimonials and like creating this okay. blend of member Got and it. team. You know what I mean? Got yeah, that's, that's fine. Cool. Um, so this would be a testimonial. It would be something like those here or this one or this one. Maybe that. What our customers say. Yeah, something like that I think works. Okay, so I'm going to copy then, this in. I think I've, I jumped a bit. Yeah, and I think maybe afterwards we'll, um, you know, maybe some of the testimonials and stuff like that will fill in afterwards, but at least we'll have a placeholder and yeah. we'll have a landing page and then. Um, For sure. Kind of stuff. Ways to join. So that was the next thing before I jumped. Ways to join. Um, yes. Let me see. Um, we have different options, right? Maybe something like this. Um, 
Yeah, I think um, I think that could work. I think um, the best way or... would be to have like one, two, three, like to show kind to show people like this is one, this is number two, this is number three. Um, Do we have three? Do we have four? Because we could also put this in, in there. It's black, just a bit of a. Contrast. Yeah, I think I think that's nice. And then we just have like apply, okay. buy shiny, buy a magpie, and then yeah, ways to join. I'm oh, sorry, that we're here. And then we have who should join. Um, yes, that's important. So what could we use here for who should join? It's not the contact page. Nope. Oh, maybe this one. Oh, this could also be good for. Nah, no, that's not nice. Mm. Sign up. Mm. Not sure. Also, quick GM to our first uh, first listener slash viewer, local tourist. Oh, cool. GM local tourist. <laughs> um, yeah, ways to join. How about this one? Then we can put the. Oh, how about this one? We take this one. Ways to join, and then we list those those icons like buy a magpie, buy a feather. Yeah, I mean, if those are, uh, can you replace yeah. those those logos? With anything I can replace wrong? the logos, but we cannot put place text below the logos, at least not with more coding. So maybe we find something. I think this would be much nicer because then we can say buy a, buy a feather and then you have like a quick description. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, something like that. And then Thanks you have buy a magpie, buy a feather, and then you get shiny light access. And, um, you know, I think like ideally, you know, you know, if you were to like do this as a full on project, probably shiny light would have its own sub page. But Obviously, right now we're just kind of sprinting uh, to great results. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right, ways to join. We had this one, and this would be who should join. Would this be a good section for who should join? Which one? Who should join? Would this mm. be a look of for who should join? So the the person avatar would replace the logo and say, I don't know, designer, hack creator. I don't know. Would this be our persona here? So, and this is the same thing that we also use for, for ways to join, right? Is that no, correct? ways to join would be this black thing here. Oh, this black thing. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that works. I think um, just from a messaging standpoint, I would make mm. the um, the who should join more about a, um, more about, let's say, um, what people are like rather than what they do um, professionally. How about this one? This one would be nice, right? We just say who should join, and then we make a list of people here. Yeah, I think that works. And then just have the yeah, CTA behind that, especially if people identify with that. Yeah, yeah. And okay, then cool. uh, so we take then, this one out here. What I was thinking, maybe like a small section of like these are the people who shouldn't join, right? Like if you want to get rich quick with crypto, like if you want to, um, mm. right? Something like that, where it's like you know, like this is not where you get like trading signals or where we like pump and dump some some meme coin right um i think I that, like that, that yeah like distancing di shiny from that would make sense i think we could have a small section that says who should not join yeah exactly. and then how about this one here who should not join and then we make a logo of paper in here how about yeah that? yeah exactly and i mean and maybe some icons work there as well yeah, because I think the shiny aesthetic is always kind of more focused on text and gradients and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we ma Who can we replace those it? pictures with icons? Something, yeah, you know, yeah. like like I don't know if we can make it in time, but I'm gonna try. Um, then we have member, member testimonials is this one, and then detailed CTA. Um, that would be the last thing we need. It's just, um, do, I mean, you don't really apply by putting in the email or do you no no i think it would just be um yeah what would it be i mean like the current shiny landing page um just sends you to uniswap um or apply for membership so um i think yeah I, I, is this what, what shall we just take, take this thing here just like the top go, section go to, go to uniswap just this one yeah yeah exactly just one and button then, yeah, and with all the ways that there are to join, I think the the kind of ideal solution long term. I I don't think we need to implement this now. Um, but something yeah. 
to the um would be something where it's like you know join now and then you get a pop-up which has like buy a magpie on OpenSea links to that um and then buy shiny on uniswap you know links to yep. uniswap um all that kind of stuff but for now i think we're just trying to sprint to the finish line so um exactly cool so i think what we should do now is so we have if we really want to finish in an hour i mean technically we could give it 10 more minutes if we need to but let's say we have now half an hour left Mm -hmm. what we could do is make a timer and say every five minutes we switch the screen share from you to me or every three minutes okay sure yeah i think five minutes is better because otherwise it gets a little confusing okay. but perfect so my job now would be to take those things out here those uh, so what i try to do in the next 10 minutes um take those things out and put them on into our development system on the actual page right like this um and your job would be to actually replace the text, right? Because if you would now say collaborate remotely, if you would give me some kind of indicator, um, so let's say you would say box one title, and then you would say whatever you want to write there, right? Right. And then this would be a subtitle, right? And then I can copy paste those things out later. So sure. Yeah, that's perfect. And uh, and yeah, cool. Then. I think uh, what we're just gonna do is, yeah, get started on this. Let's see, let's see how it goes. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna set a five minute timer real quick. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Are you just gonna do the first screen share? I I would do. I can do the first. Yeah. Then you have, or do you want to start? No, you can go ahead. What? I think you're already sharing, so that's that makes sense. Um, All right. Cool. cool perfect. perfect. Then perfect. let's go. Um, yeah, so do, do we explain what we do or what's the... I think we should, idea? otherwise it might yeah. be a bit boring. I don't know. Yeah, otherwise nobody's so, um, learning anything. <laughs> yeah, so um, I should now share... Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I will go to the blocks. So find the first one, collaborate remotely, and see that we find this thing again. Yeah, so, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just one. trying to figure out a ton of ideas quickly because uh, we're not going to have the perfect idea here. So I'm just probably going to try to come up with 10 different value props and see which one is best. Oh, well, that's cool. And then we can also, if you want, we can, I can review. Okay. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just taking the code here and you can copy the whole thing. Um, and now I need to share my development environment. Otherwise, maybe I'll just share my whole screen. Otherwise it's probably going to be boring. There's Finn on the right. Um, but, oh yeah, because we have this thing edited, so that means I can probably try to move everything to the left and then we just cut a part out. So we cut the right part out, so we're not seeing the faces again. That should work. Okay, so this is the landing page here, and I prepared something already, but I'm probably going to just throw away the whole thing as we have it here. So taking that thing, two sections, and I'll actually put in more. So those three I'm going to throw away. That means okay, diff diff. This is Vue.js, so that means you always need one um, one root element. I'm just putting this here so you know. Okay, when this reloads, sorry, when this reloads, there should be nothing. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let's copy the first thing. Copy. So now we should have the first section on the browser. There we go. There is a lot of stuff here, post crafts. I'm gonna try to remove them now because we don't need them. So this is the post crafts here. I try to find the header, which is this thing here. Okay, should this should go away? Yep, it's gone. We have this, perfect. Okay, let's go to the next one. Um, this is the celebration of to build websites. Mm. Okay, features. 
Which one was it? Yes, this one. Go to the code. Copy the code. I'm going to fold this, so it's going to be a bit... Yeah. Okay, copy this thing in here. Let's see. That's it. It's also responsive, so that's all prepared by the rare blocks. Okay, then we have that. We have another. So I'm just grabbing this real quick. I think that was this one over here. Copy the code. Go to the. I'm folding this always, so it's gonna be a bit. For me, it's a bit easier to to deal with, deal with it. I'm not sure if I maybe. Uh, let's see, maybe I fucked it up here, but maybe not. Okay. So this one. Okay. Ah, yeah, so I screwed up a diff tag. I'm going to revert this real quick. So there seems to be a diff tag. Oh, this one. Ah, okay, now I got it. This is actually belong to the first section. I normally don't fold code so much. I would probably move it into different um, components, but right now, this is totally cool. <coughs> it's still broken. Shit. It's not how it should be. Maybe I copied it. Wrong place. This is section. Let me see. Okay, that was five minutes. I made. Uh, Okay. Like, I think I put in two blocks right now. Okay. Okay. Um, perfect. Shall we move over to your to your to your side? Yes. So I'll okay. share my screen yeah. and I'll explain a little bit of what I'm doing. Right. So I think okay. uh, we and found I'm, a good. At the same time, I'm going to do. I'm continue coding, right? Because I want to finish this thing. So I'm not. Yeah. yeah of course. Of course. Okay. I was writing in the background as well. Oh. So what I'm doing here and what I think is going to be. Um, it's going to be very fun, right? Like I, I just came up with a couple of ideas. Find your way in Web3 that's kind of boring. Always chasing shiny ob objects. You hit the mother load. It's kind of playful. It talks about the the name, obviously, but it's. I think it's boring. Um, it doesn't convey anything useful, right? Um, so I think this is the best like version that I can come up with in five minutes, right? Um, so I think stop aping alone is something that. Um, that we could um, that we can use in the sense that it's like okay we show people with that vocabulary of aping right um, that it's something which um, that, that we understand them right we show we immediately signal what community this is for and um, by saying stop aping alone right um, we're also immediately speaking to the problem of like maybe this is somebody who's obsessed with crypto but who doesn't have any friends or who's like well, people just don't get why I mint NFTs all the time, um, and people don't people don't understand me, right? And now they're like, okay, well, finally we have somebody who uh, understands us, right? And then like build, ship, and create in Web three with an awesome community. Um, so I th I, I'm not a fan of the adjective here because awesome is like a more um, maybe with the shiny um, community, it's nicer. Um, so awesome was a little too playful, I think. It's not like, because shiny has that more mysterious abstract vibe. Um, cool. So stop aping alone. Uh, there's a bit of a disconnect right now as I'm trying to explain this, right? So, but I always like these like triples where it's like, what are the three things that you're, um, what are the three things that you can do, right? The, the triple always works in saying something like build, ship and create. Actually, I want to make this create, build and ship because in that sense, you have more of a story, right? You go from create to the build and then ship, right? It makes more sense in that order. Um, now we just need a, um, now we just need a conceptual bridge between these two things because stop aping alone. This isn't really about aping anymore, right? So something like, um, um, <laughs> stop aping alone. Up. Maybe this needs to be a different verb after all. We'll leave this for now. Uh, just head on to the subtitle. And 
So I think this is decent enough as is. There's a bit of a conceptual gap, um, which we can bridge later. Cool. Always obsessed with the next big thing. I think that, that's, uh, that that applies to everybody in Shiny, right? It's kind of a more... Um, it's, a, it's just an explanation of shiny object syndrome, so I think that that's a very um, very fitting kind of question, and if people answer yes to that, then they're just going to keep reading, right? Um, you've found your, your new home, right? So maybe something like that um, could work just to say, okay, like, you found, a, um, you found your new home um, to show something like, your new Web3 home, maybe just to make that clear and infuse some of that wording. Um, cool. So always obsessed with the next big thing. You found your new Web3 home, right? Um, what's what? I, what I like about this is, you know, you found your new Web3 home. I think that's first of all, it's a strong, um, it's a strong um, sentence, right? Um, and in the sense that, like, we're making a very strong claim of like, hey, this is your home. If you if you're always obsessed with new things, and what it also does is it's very emotional, right? So giving somebody a home, that's something which speaks to emotions of people. And I think it's much more, um, and it, and it's much more interesting than hitting them with some stat or like a rational argument, right? Um, especially in I this header it. section, I just it, want people to get it. I was what? just listening. It's cool. It's the web three home is great. Awesome. Like yeah. And, th and that's what I'm thinking, right? And this is where this goes into what problem does this solve, right? I think externally, what is the real, like, what's the reason people, um, or how does something show up in people's lives? Like, what's the problem that shiny solves? I think, first of all, it's like, people tell them, you know, people maybe ridicule them, right? Um, them for being hardcore into crypto, right? Or for, or for buying, buying JPEGs or something like that, right? Um, and... Do something, what else could be, are we switching again? I don't know, <laughs> I reload the page and rare blocks again doesn't load for me, <laughs> but I'm almost done. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, if well, you want, let me you know can, when... You can go ahead, yeah, you can go ahead. Uh, okay, okay, so, so what else could be an external problem here, right? Like what else could be a, something that we do solve, um, something, something that, that's a problem, right? Like maybe, maybe people make fun of them, that's one thing. Um, another thing could be, right, like, um, people don't care about their, their creations, right? Um, so in the sense that, like, we have that value prop of maybe, right, right, like, if you're a great designer, then it's much easier to contribute to Shiny and kind of use that to amplify your creations versus having to build your own brand from scratch, right? Um, and contributing to Shiny could be a way to to get um, get recognition for design without um, without having to build everything yourself, right? Okay, so internal, and this is the I think the emotional stuff is much more um, much more interesting, right? So I think if we stick with that angle of like here's your Web three home, um, we could say something to the tune of um, you know uh, feeling alone with their crypto slash nft conviction right um i think maybe maybe uh, doubting if they're on the right track right um feeling like feeling misunderstood maybe right like those those things are very interesting philosophical how should things be and there there we build a bit of a positive vision right we, we tell people okay so um you know you deserve these aren't this isn't final writing this is me sorting out my thoughts obviously you deserve to be a um you deserve to <laughs> how should things be it's like um Maybe something like, you know, whoever you are, your contributions should be valued and valued, even if you're not famous and nobody even knows your real name, right? Um, cool. Uh, cool. So let's turn that into coffee. 
Uh, external, how does this show up, right? And the block that we had for this, let me just make sure. Um, cool, so, so we have the subheadline, um, just CTA uh, join shiny. Um, cool, so let's just find the block here. Okay, so we have this, we have a little bit of a um, headline, we have a subheadline, and then we have the three things. Cool, so let's just go below here and say, so what's the top headline? Um, headline on this could be something like, you know, getting started in Web3 is hard. It's hard, but it doesn't. Um, and then below that, it's like finding maybe something like earning Earning, not start with earning, building, earning, and contributing in Web3 is hard. Now we already have that. Um, ba, ba, ba. Want to build, earn, and contribute. Build, earn, contribute. Contribute. No, maybe is overwhelming. I think overwhelm is an important emotion. If you want to build, earn, and contribute in the to the frontier of technology. You're probably familiar with the following. And then we go into element one. By the way, Till, let me know if you if you want the screenshot. Yeah, I'm, no? I'm done. Yeah. Um I'm let me give you a quick uh, um an overview where we are. Perfect. Uh, Should I stop my screen share? Um, yep, yep. And I'm sharing. Okay, so you can check it out. So that's what we got right now. This is our Nux template uh, with this logo, which is generic, and everything else is copied. Um, yep, so this is all here. So now we just need to t uh, change the text, and we're good. Sometimes um, the sizes are off. I think it's a different version of Tailwind. But that's cool. It l still looks fine. I was going to say, I think it looks good, and then we just need to adapt it to the shiny mm -hmm. design, and we will be fine. Cool. Um, yeah, and it's also getting deployed on Netlify, but this probably takes a bit of time. Okay, cool. So, okay. Um, I, I would now take your text and move it and copy it over. Yes. So, see where you are exactly. So, uh, what I'm, uh, I'm going to do is, like, I'm going to head um, any, anything that's, like, um, ready for, for publishing, um, I'll highlight in yellow. Okay, that's good. Then let me copy the stuff, and I'm gonna okay. highlight in green when when it's copied. Okay. And you highlight in yellow if you want to change. Yeah. Yes. So now, now I'll just be um, I'll be talking through. Um, sh should I be okay. explaining why I'm writing the things I'm writing? Um. I guess I guess you. I think that'll be because now, so. let me quickly let me quickly sh let me quickly show you what I'm doing here. Um, just for a quick minute, and then we can give it back to you. So let me. Share my whole screen again. Okay, so the only thing I'm doing now is I will take the text from you here and copy it. I'm gonna move it here. So this is the headline, and I'm gonna move this one. Collaborate remotely with Postgres. I'm gonna change this to the text, uh, and maybe here Postgres. Just gonna move this here, and now it should reload. Yeah. And this is, we're just going to completely remove this. I'm wondering what are they doing here at the rare blocks? Um, I think it was this one. Ah, okay. So there was a, what they did here um, is having this underline. But I don't see it right now. This is a bit weird. So it was here, but now it's not. No, it actually looks exactly like before, like mine. 
Uh, but it's not so. It's not so bad. We can just. So I will just put this in here with a shiny community, and we're gonna move this over here. So really, the only thing I'm doing right now is I'm gonna I'm copy pasting. I'm copy pasting the text. So I'm going for the next one. Subtitle always obsessed with the next big thing. So move it here, and it's gonna get. There's a button. Maybe we need to move the button, make the button so that it goes to, to the features. Because Finn hasn't done that yet, so there's no. Oh, CTA Josh join Chinese. Okay, cool. So the we need mo to move this to the ways you can join. So this is here. Start exploring. We're gonna move this. Join Chinese, and here it will be join. And then we need to make an anchor text ways to join it was ways to join here so we're gonna make this um, a name join this is basic HTML and I hope I remember the stuff correctly so now when you reload it you should be able to jump there yes perfect okay so this is all I'm doing now I'm gonna copy stuff and once I'm done I'm gonna mark it with green so as the coding I guess the coding is a bit more dull. <laughs> so I'm going to hand it back to Finn now. <laughs> right? Um, so you have me to give okay. you the screen share. Cool. And okay. continue to explain. Perfect. I'm going to just work through the stuff that you're doing here. Perfect. Okay. So what am I doing right now? So I'm kind of explaining the, pro uh, the, um, the, the, the problems right now. Why would you buy JPEGs? Everyone like that little quote, right? I, I think that's something that's relatable to everybody who's in NFTs, who's like try to explain NFTs to people or, you know, who People only heard of board apes and it's like, oh yeah, lol, uh, it's just money laundering or something, right? So most people won't get Web3 until it's right in their face. That's okay, right? Like, I don't want to make this sound judgmental or anything. It's like, oh yeah, we're against those people, right? It's just like, yeah, well, they just don't get it, right? And then, but it's tough to be alone, right? Reflecting like, okay, but that, that is a problem that you can deal with by joining Shiny, right? And in Shiny, and it's like, in Shiny, you'll meet hundreds of... And what I want to make, I want to make it a little playful here, right? Like the exact people that they're looking of anonymous, well, maybe pseudonymous. Uh, you'll meet hundreds of builders, animal, oh, if, and if then statement usually works with these as well. If you're, if you're kind of people have cartoon animal profile pictures you'll meet you'll meet hundreds of them in but if you kind of people have yeah this is this isn't perfect um but obviously we have officially nine minutes left i think we're gonna go over but um Cool. So um, next, what's internal, right? It's like maybe something like it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Um, getting started. Um, there are so many NFTs, tokens, and communities that it's that it can be that it can feel that it's hard to find a starting starting point. Shiny helps you navigate web three and finds the helps you navigate web three and find the spot. No. Um find where you can you can Maybe just a little bit of a joke. We can shine. Uh, mm -hmm. Element three would be the philosophical problem. Um, so, element three um, will be the headline here. You deserve.
your contributions deserve to kick ass. I'll just put that here. It's, it's, it's not perfect wording. Uh, but I'll try to keep... Uh, I'll try to keep uh, letting perfect be the enemy of good here. Your contributions to Africa kick ass. Um, if, you, if you write design code or 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 do oh or if you if you want to contribute to uh, let me make this more of a problem. <laughs> Um, the it's the Ra easy the rare blocks website is also built by Nuxt. <laughs> it's easy to sell. <laughs> no. Okay. Ah, I got it. I think I have an issue. Two two six. Shiny lets you contribute to a respected Web three. Community and gives your creations a hope. It's hard to build a brand online and get noticed for hope. Maybe something about a team here as well. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I have the idea here. So, and get noticed and get. Your, it's hard to build a brand and get your creations noticed, and it's even harder to do it all alone. Shiny connects you with builders, so so that you can contribute to a respectable through community and and grow your own profile. Something like that. Grow your own profile might not be great. Contribute to a respected community so that you can contribute and contribute, contribute to and build with a respected community. Uh, so you can amplify your message by contributing to them. Maybe not amplify your message, amplify your voice. By contributing to and building with a respected community, community. Yes, I think that's decent. At least enough for now. Cool. Next. Tangible features and their benefits. Okay. Um, uh, on my side, I'm trying to adapt the, the version because we have a different version. I installed 2.0.0 and Rareblocks uses 2.2. Uh, Tailwind 2 2. So I'm trying to see how I can upgrade this. And this is a bit annoying right now. Okay, so. When it comes to features, I think um, I think there's a few things that um, they're important, right? Like I think I think some of some people are just there for the conversations and networking. So having like um, an awesome unity, unity of, and what is it currently? I think on the shiny objects? No, that's a different thing. Uh, this is it. Uh, Seven hundred twenty. An awesome community of 720 um, builders, creators, and automators, I think is what it says right now. Uh -huh. Creators, automators, and builders, yeah. Um, an awesome community of... So, that uh, meet people to... Uh, Connect with Web3 enthusiasts. I don't like that word, but it's good enough. Web3 enthusiasts um, and meet and have and move, have conversations that move you forwards. 
cool an awesome community of 720 builders what's the next thing um i think the next most important thing would be like events right it's like um regular um events learn from experts oh, damn it, you're producing a lot of stuff <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. It's, I, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to speed up the writing right now. So, yeah, yeah I see it. That's really cool. Learn from experts. I don't like discover discover authenticity. No, 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 no. Discover discover the best knowledge by. from practitioners learn from some some of the best practitioners in web3 in our regular live sessions and maybe lead the next one cool. so Give, showing people hey you can contribute here right so ways to join i think this is going to be very very simple um well oh, actually third one so what else you get i think um another important thing is like um is the opportunity to contribute contribute to a just highlight this in yellow um contribute to an shiny and get rewarded um, create uh, right design code or otherwise help shiny to get rewarded in our native token Shiny. Cool. Um, cool. Ways to join. Um, cool. I think that's like very, very simple. This is going to be a quick one. Headline. Oops. How do I join Shiny? Um, sub. Sub headline. There are four main ways. Okay, so uh, obviously this is kind of some stuff where um, I'm not very much on the inside of. Um, I'm not on the inside of the shiny team, so I don't know what they're mm -hmm. kind of cooking up. I saw something about shiny light. I think come out today or yesterday, so I don't. I don't know the specifics of that, um, but I think we can just you know there's buy shiny on Uniswap. Um, I think there's apply for membership right now here. And then um, buy a magpie. I think that works as well. Um, and then we just we can just have a feather as well to join Shiny Light. Yeah. So element one. Element four. Okay. Um, so buy Shiny on this one. When you buy. 250 shiny you you get when you buy 250 shiny you will you're a you'll get access discord or as a shiny object social club member okay now element two buy a Magpie, our Genesis and NFT collection brands shiny access for as long as you hold the NFT. Element three, um, element three would be hmm. to apply for membership. when you 
sent in an application and application fill out the application and see if you get in well on the form buy a shiny feather um, buy a shiny feather you'll own you'll uh, blah, 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 shiny feather that this is an NFT, um, you'll get shiny light access. Okay, cool. So that's done. Um, okay. I'm also, I copied most of that already over. Okay, perfect. perfect. A, res, a, a smaller Okay, so I don't want to... A... I don't want to make it a smaller version, a um, um, because that just makes people feel inferior if they buy the feather. So we don't want like shame mm. associated with that as the emotion, right? By buying a shiny feather, you'll have shiny light access, which um, which gives which grants access to some parts of the shiny objects of a club discord perfect okay perfect so that's done cool. now by the way let me know if you want the screen share back um yeah I, I can show you it's uh let me quickly go over my screen real quick sure. okay should i should i stop the screen yeah share? just stop stop sharing mm -hmm. okay 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 Duh. stop okay that. so I, there we go. I had some issues with the with the Tailwind installation because it it's a different version. They use um, so here we have Tailwind 2.0 and this one uses 2.2. So we don't have this shiny button here. So this one is not glowing. It should glow. It's a bit sad, but I couldn't figure it out right now. Um, but yeah, everything else is here. So we have those texts. We have those texts. Mm. We have this, maybe some smaller details we need to change. And this is the last thing I copied over. And of course images, we need to change those as well. But I don't know, we gotta see what images you would fit here actually. And now this is the, probably the next construction site. Okay, um, also I can, I have already deployed part of it. Uh, still in old state, but this is already running here on Netlify. Super simple to, to do that actually. <laughs> it's just basically just push it up. Um, what I use is the Nuxt Netlify. There is like a template you can use for here. And there must be some some quick deploy button. Text Nuxt. Maybe oh, template. I use one of those. I think I in the spoiler plate. Yeah, I think I used this one here. Yep. So before I did this this morning, I just clicked here, deploy, and then basically <laughs> the website popped up. Um, you need to register with GitHub or with GitLab. That's pretty neat. Um, and now we are still here. Um, the server is running locally. And I'm copying the things over from Fendit. So let's continue. We did this. So I'm going to mark the screen. All this is green. Bam, bam, bam. And now sub headline ways to how to join shiny. So question and answers. Should maybe share my whole browser. Uh, my whole screen. So an entire screen. Share. How do I join shiny? This is questions and answers. This one. There are four main ways. Put this in here. By uni and Uniswap, so now I'm just copy pasting. Actually, I'm wondering if if one is ah okay. So this is the question mark. That's cool. So this is the first first line. It should change. Yep. Okay. And I copy this. So it's really just just manual grunt work. Um, Tim has done. Uh, sorry, Finn has done the most important stuff here. 
have thoughtful conversations. I mean, technically, you could use a landing page builder or even some kind of WordPress, but then you don't have the rail blocks. Then you don't have a super fast static site, which is something some creators want to do, especially those th Web3 sites. I think most of them are made with some kind of fancy front-end framework. I haven't seen anything uh, being worked at with, with, with uh, WordPress, for example, or with Wix or <laughs> Squarespace. And, I, and I, I think that makes sense because so many people in Web3 are like, deeply on the front frontier of technology it would make sense that like yeah. the the more um the like technologically more elegant but also harder to operate solutions dominate mm -hmm. a desire to have thoughtful conversations build and i'll just say uh, thoughtful conversations build and always chase the next shiny i'm just gonna object. do some Stop copywriting on my it. own so I will just do this, I'm ready to join. And then click this, see below. Maybe like this, show me details. Who shouldn't join, okay, so this is interesting. Um, this would also go to the join to where? button. And now we can Oop. jump. Oh no, not actually not, this should go to the protection, for? which is get instant access. No, here, get access, so we're gonna make this access. So this is an H tag, we did this before here. Uh, the first tag is here, name join, we have to make another with access, and this goes to the bottom. Get access to the resources, yep, so to action, access. So now this link here should jump to the bottom. Perfect. Okay, if you're obsessed with this stuff, I haven't done that yet. No, we don't do bullshit, no. We are here. Grow. I'm just always uh, doing the search and replace, basically. If you're obsessed with Schweb, three shinies for you. So, yep. Okay. So I think member Membership. testimonials. I think um, I'll just I'll just give you the headline there. Um, I'll just give you the headline and a subheadline there because I think I feel yeah. like it's gonna be uh, you know like we would have to source the testimonials somewhere, right? Um, yep. That's cool. cool. Head and Headline. there's an issue here with, uh, with the width and height. So, okay. These. There was a problem with the height, but now I solved it. Perfect. For some reason, this other tag didn't work. It's kind of weird because I thought Tailwind would compile it. Huh. So, I think. Well, if we do this 28, 28, this should work, but it, I think it doesn't. One really anyway, cool thing. What? One really cool thing could be to have a section um, as well where it's like, here's what goes down, and then to have that kind of like parallax uh, thing of like a ton of elements um, which are mm. um, which are like Discord messages, right? Like something from the Winds channel, something from the Gigs channel, something from the this yeah. channel, the, that channel, just to show people what goes down. But I think, um, you know, for now, obviously, we'll, we'll leave it, but I'll, I'll note that somewhere. Um, That'd be cool. Here's yeah. goes down in shine. Here's why people love shiny. Right. Let me see where we are. So we have this. If you're obsessed, get access. This needs to get changed. So I'm not looking for get instant access. Well, it's not instant, so let's change that. Get access, and we move this to the button. Perfect. Testimonials, we need to do those. Uh, what our customers say, we should say what our members say. Detail CTA. What our members. Okay. But I think he's doing that right now. Here's what people say about us. Yep. 
headline join to copy this in right away let's join a community here's what here's why people love shiny yeah that's much better this is why we're working together finn <laughs> 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 okay how okay. get access uh, today this one and click oh, this is not below to here. go right to made by developers for Uniswap. developers so this is the quality resources okay and now i just want to figure out uniswap launch app um and does uniswap like can you find shiny on uniswap now by just by searching for uh, the name i think that's how yes. i bought it you can yeah um, okay no it's just search. because at some point you had to like put in the contract um the contract address so oh that i don't know good check and find find and get your shiny today and then button ooh, ooh, ooh no um join web 3 is most shiny community um shop want to get access today click below to go right to uniswap and get your shiny oh not doll today want to get access go, go right to uniswap get shiny and join our community today. I think there's some kind of form involved. There is a link to a form somewhere. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just saw that on the current landing page, you have two, um, you have two different, um, two different CTAs. One is apply for membership, mm -hmm. which sends you to the form. And then the other one is uh, swap shiny on Uniswap. So I don't know if mm -hmm. you have to apply first and then you, and then you can swap shiny or if you can just mm. swap shiny at anybody who does that gets in i don't know um and yeah cool. but hey um let me quickly push this yeah because i think i mean from a copy standpoint we'd be uh pretty much i mean we have a version like i think uh I i'm obviously not yeah uh, would well, deliver I mean, this to a client, so to say, but sure. Like this is a we want to see how much, how far we can get in, in an hour. Exactly. Now we are at one hour sixteen minutes, um, and we don't haven't we haven't replaced the pictures. So, it, but technically, I mean, this is look at it. It's not it's not even that bad. Like there is there is something here, and it works. You know, I mean, yeah, we've literally spent an hour building this, or a little bit more, yeah. but it's. You know, I think, um, what do you think of the final final product? Um, I, I'm annoyed by that we don't have the shiny buttons because they would really kick. So this this thing, I want, I want to have the shiny button, you see? And we don't have it because the uh, yeah. version is off. And this is, I could have seen that before, but I didn't spot it. But okay, fine. Um, in any case, the, the, the copy is there, the structure is there. That's the most difficult part, I think. And we're gonna replace the pictures. And then this is getting deployed, which probably takes a bit. I don't know why it doesn't get push. So it pushes to Netlify and then it should uh, it should compile. Okay, it's getting pushed now. So now it takes five minutes and then we have it. So I would say let's close it here, at least for the recording, because um, I think we have we have built something we've built something yeah i mean do you want to do a quick like debrief on like what worked yeah. what didn't what what did, what did we learn because this is the first time i've done yep. this i don't know if you do this uh, if you've done this before not in that not in that way i have done uh i've sat down to do copywriting myself for a few projects um i have coded some landing pages and i think um but like in that way i have never used the rare blocks so that's that's actually the thing i wanted to try out how that feels and it's actually amazing. It is so simple to do stuff. I this is actually my re so the result that I wanted to be able to use the rare blocks and be able to do something real quick and fast. That is there. That has manifested. Yeah. So I, th I think it's, it sounds like you reached your goal with uh, with yep. what we've done today. Yes. Also, the, the Nux framework is great. Um, my developers use it actually. 
Um, so, but I didn't. I know Vue.js, so I know how to code it. But I've never used Nuxt, and it, it does make sense. Um, I heard it's even nicer to use than Gatsby. Our website for pairing.dev is uh, is made in, in Gatsby, um, but I think this Nuxt is even cooler. So I'm I'm happy with that with the results. Um, what I really liked is seeing you write the copy. That was something new to me. Okay. <laughs> because yeah, I've I've never I've worked with copywriters, but not directly with them seeing the screen. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, for me, the experience was obviously like live copywriting is always a little, um, you know, just like, just like live coding, I'm sure, right? Like you're always like, oh, somebody's like watching this mm. and seeing my bad ideas. Usually I just send them the good ideas that I came up with. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so so I think I think from a structural standpoint, we, we definitely have something. And obviously, like, you know, from a design standpoint, you'd have to figure out the typefaces mm. and the the icons and the visuals and f and from a copy standpoint like i'm happy with the things that we're talking about but the way that we talk about them i don't think is accurate for shiny right mm -hmm. like adjectives like awesome is like shiny is a bit more mysterious than that right like awesome you would mm -hmm. you know something like doodles would use awesome because it's like hey like this is like so exciting and that's the type of vibe where shiny is more more i don't want to say mysterious on purpose but it's very like you know it feels a little bit underground and like on the frontier of things and like awesome might not be the right word for something right. like that. And the, the tone is off for the copy, I think mostly, but I think from, I'm happy that, um, to get the messaging down quickly, mm -hmm. right? Like what we want to say, yeah. I think that that happened, uh, that we did that quite quickly. And for the rest, we can always iterate on this. Um, should there be any, any uh, interest in this from the shiny community, we can obviously like turn this into, into a cool, um, thing. Okay, Perfect. cool. Let me Anything let me else? do some close, closing. Yeah, yeah. Some I want to share just real quick because this will probably go on uh, my YouTube channel and on our website at pairing.dev. Um, so you're prepared where I would like to publish that, unless you have something <laughs> against that. But I think it will oh, be so just a free, free link for you. Um, so yeah, this is our this is our page of, of my company. Um, we're going to publish it somewhere because some people can learn from that. And Finn, I would like you to also maybe quickly share your screen or whatever you want to share so that people can know where they can find you just so we have the link and also my team can transcribe it and add the link to the to the video and to the content. Oh, sure. I mean, I think uh, the best way to get in touch, obviously, uh, if you're in Shiny, then it's the Discord. Um, if you're not just, um, you can send, uh, you can follow me on Twitter or get in touch on Twitter. That's the best way to do it. I think um, my Twitter is is this um practical prncpl and um yeah i write copy that is, <laughs> is my ens if you if you want to <laughs> interact with that anyway cool cool um awesome yeah it was my this pleasure was fun yeah, yeah. <laughs> likewise okay, guys. thanks for watching <laughs> thank you have a good one bye